Good evening everybody, welcome to Sunday Night Live. My name is Kelly Farley, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Karaka, Auckland. Um, and every Sunday night at 7.30 I come to make a card with you online. Um, and let me just get this up on the screen so that I can watch along and chat with anyone who pops in. Let me just put my computer on mute. Alright, so we're going to make this card here, which just looks like a normal um, card. And then you open it and it's got this little little piece here that pops out at the back rather than popping forward at the front. Something a little different that I um, made at one of the online stamping retreats last year that I have. Um, these... I don't think that's current, but you can get a version of this that's still in the online store and then it's using the translucent florals. So what I thought I would do is um, make another one and I've just broken out my... Hi Andrea! I've just broken into, um, on Thursday night, um, I had um, Seven Up had set uh, sales challenge for demonstrators to better their best which um, was a challenge but I did um, and part of that is that we got a pack we could redeem uh, to get a pack of demonstrator or demonstrator only for the challenge designer series paper so I finally cracked this open on Thursday night um, so I thought I'd do something with this and I'll show you the patterns. Now it, it may look familiar if you've gone through the catalogue. So there's um, 12 sheets, two of each double sided design um, and it actually is a pink version of the Countryside Inn I think it's called which is blues and that actually came out in the catalogue I think in September last year and it's been carried over to the main catalogue this year so they've used the same um, patterns it also came there was a matching embossing folder um, that came with that one and so I, um, I did a live zoom with demonstrators who earned the paper and made some cards or three projects so the first one was this and I'm just checking what that looks like against the plastic it's probably annoying so the, that's the first one that we made um, I changed it up a bit because it didn't have this top layer and these three were all different designs but I changed it up a bit and added in some ribbon and then the second one was this design here and I didn't have the punch or the dies that they use, but it was a very similar label punch that's new in the catalogue this year. Again, didn't have um, the piece matting in the back that I've added. Um, I just felt like it was it kind of needed a little bit more of a lift, and I've changed the base colours. Then they made a little bag, and I thought, mm, I don't really do bags. Um, they end up on my shelf for a few weeks, and then they get biffed in the bin because I don't tend to use them, they're not big enough or they're too big or whatever. So I just used one of the designer series papers and made a card. I just punched out, actually punched out the paper and then stamped directly onto the card base. Um, and then these dies and these are all out of the Thoughtful Wishes um, bundle, which I've just got. And then I thought I was on a roll, so why not make another one? And I had obviously pieces that I had cut into so I did one of the scrappy cards um, just kept them all straight um, but there was like a selection of all the designs and then just cut out one of the um, die cuts from the Thoughtful Wishes and it added a piece of ribbon which is not actually matching but it's close enough and it's it's an old one um, that I had in my stash. So yeah, so those are the four cards that I used to make that. So I thought tonight, thank you Alison, tonight let's make that card using this paint paper. So it's actually really straightforward. So you need a piece of cardstock which is 
your standard A5. I went blank there. Yeah. My brain's on a bit of a on a bit of a holiday. So which is your if you're doing metric, um, I kind of go 14.85. Some people say 14.8, some put, hi Helen, some say 14.9, so um, I found 14.85 works quite well. And we're just going to score that, no we're not going to score that, 14.85 if we go this way. Sorry, see my brain is on holiday. So it's your half of your A4. So if you're going to turn it this way, this is 21 centimetres, which means halfway is 10 and a half, or it's that... 4 and 1 8 if you're doing inches on a full card. Alright, so you're just going to do it in half. Oh no. That's no good, Alison. Um, no, I just have to look at my card again. Yeah. So, fold in half. And normally we do one similar to this that we would just fold it back on itself. Um, but you're actually going to fold both sides back on themselves. So whether you want to go and do 5.25 centimetres, 2, 3, five. hopefully it's got better for you, Alison, and then 5.25 this way. <laughs> oh, no, don't be quiet. 5.125. So you've got that. Alright, so you've got four panels. So let's just move this out of the way for a minute. I've pre cut my panels um, and we do want them to um, move a bit when we open the card. So we're just going to burnish. The score lines both ways. How's everyone's weekend been? Ours has been pretty full on. We had Friday night uh, driving in that horrendous uh, long weekend holiday traffic. I don't know what it was for. Um, people going away for the second week of the holidays maybe. Um, or just maybe Friday night traffic. Um, out to Mangere to do a rehearsal for a show for Piper, for the dance team, and then um, we got home, it was about 9 o'clock I think, Friday during the day was spent baking because we were selling food, and then last night from 5 o'clock we had um, the show, so the girls are fundraising to... Um, attend a competition in Tauranga um, and so we had some lovely family <laughs> family and friends and people from the studio come and watch and support us so we're at the Metro Theatre which is like a um, an old historical um, theatre it's about a hundred years old so that was really cool it had some really cool quirks the lighting wasn't amazing Oh, that's good that it's a nice sunny day, um, Andrea. It's a bit chilly here. Um, yeah, so it was a late one getting home last night. And then today, Matt decided that we needed to go and have a look at a puppy. Um, so we drove just the other side of Huntley. Um, and uh, had a look at a couple of puppies. Not really the puppies that we wanted, but they were very nice puppies. So we're mm, umming and ahhing. So I'm feeling a little bit tired, um, which is a bit sad considering I've been on holiday for a week. Although working on my laptop while watching some TV. Right, I've decided that I'm going to pop these two pieces here. So you need six pieces of designer series paper. They're all the same size. So, if you're doing millimetres, it is 4.7 centimetres. I think that's what it was. Let me just double check that. One moment, cooler. It was raining in Masterton. Oh, at least you're in the 
yeah, so 4.7 centimeters by 14.4 centimeters. So you need six of them. We do have a puppy, but apparently he needs a friend. So we are in discussions. I don't know that we need another one. Um, Matt seems to think that he needs a friend. So, but I'm not. Um, we went to look at Spoodles, but I like the Schnauzer. Um, and so did he. And she doesn't have any, so it might be saved by the bell. Okay, so I'm going to use this one here. Freezing cold, raining. Ah, oh, Helen. It's it's going to rain tonight here, so we might be getting what you had. But it has been chilly, that's for sure. Um, Alright, so I'm going to use that design there. So on this, this is the other design, the little rabbits, which I thought was possibly a bit much on there, considering I've got these two designs here. <laughs> no, that doesn't help my case, Andrea. <laughs> I we're driving there just about having an argument because I was like, oh, I don't really think that we can afford another dog. I don't really think we need another dog. And he's like, oh, well, we'll see. <laughs> just like, fire out. Okay, ladies, do, which one do you think? If we're using these two on the inside, we could switch it to this. These two. Or these two. Or, oh, okay, so let's look at the options. Those two together. Those two together. And those two. So, all that together like that. That'll kind of get lost, I think, but that's okay. What do we think about these two? Cats are a little, uh, they are expensive here. Um, we just registered him, it was $124. Um, but Matt's just done a responsible user thing which you couldn't do until your dog's been registered for a year and then you couldn't do unless they were registered. Stripe one? Yeah, I think the stripe one too, that was my first choice. I think if I had a different card base I'd possibly go with that. But I'm also using flowers for the front, so let's go stripes there. Yeah, no, there's some really cute foxy designs on here, but I'm not not really feeling the rabbits. Not feeling the rabbits. So we're just going to pop these on here like so. Um, yes, so I've worked tomorrow for a few hours, so that'll be a slow increase into my uh, routine it's only been a week but okay so what do we think this that kind of really gets lost but that's too busy unless we go that and that so keeping in mind that when we open it that's what we're going to see of it. I don't know if you can still see that. No, you can't still see that. So, if that's what it was, if we have, let me put them on here. Um, maybe this way. Or. So this is an either or situation. Do we like? Mm, no. There. Do we like left or right? Left side, right side. If I cover that, so we don't get confused by it. Hmm. Or right side. Or. Option number three. <laughs> what do we think, ladies? OK, 
can you do stripes and the reverse stripes this one these two I could I haven't cut enough but I could this one here Allison oh so that's both sides of that so I have to cut some more but that's okay I can cut some more so we think that or do we think that okay yes Alison all right I will cut that anyone else no <laughs> okay so this we're going with this so let me cut some more of that right so we are what do you say? 4.7 and 4.75. Let's try that. Oh, stripes and pattern. Okay, misunderstood. That way. Is that the one you mean, Alison? But that design, yeah, I quite like that design. Yes, excellent. Let's cut some of that. I'm kind of a little um, sad that I can't buy this now that I've got it open because I quite like all the different tones of pink in it. Um, so I have to just stick with some more of the blue which I had run out of, so I'm going to have to get some more, I think, but I do quite like the pink. Mm. I'll say 14.4. Oh, get up. Okay, so let's go there and there. Alright, what do we think ladies? Good good there. Okay, let me just move that out of the way. Yes, thank you, Alison. Alright. Right. I haven't used Melon Mumbo for um, such a long time. Alright, so the next piece, this piece here, is 3 by 6 So you're going to end up with two. Mine is slightly shorter, so I'm going to just um, fold it without scoring it. If I can find my bone folder. Um, but you'll do 3 by 6 and then score at along the six inch side at three so you'll get two panels that are two and three quarters square so mine might look a little bit off and this is where you're going to do your sentiment and then any other stamping you might want to do so before I get ahead of myself let me glue this in so that all of our Bits are stuck down. I'm going for time. How long are you in Palmerston North for, um, Andrea? Just the weekend? Like, are you heading back tonight or? Um, down there for a few days. Mm -hmm. Man, I can't believe how.
how quickly this this last week's gone. We'll school holidays. Tried to take it easy and go slow, but it always goes quite quick. All right, so that's our four. So when we open it, it's going to be like that. And then these two pieces here, we're just going to do our inside four. So I'm going to pop here. I've got the daisy stamp set. I'm just going to use the little daisy off the side there. And let's go pretty in pink. The event was today we ran over last night and came home afterwards. Oh, that's not too bad. Mm, that's about the drive that we went to have a look at the pup. Around 10 minutes. Um, and then we came back and everyone had decided it was time to come home at that time. So we went on a little tookie tour around Great South Road, which is the old main road off the motorway. Um, but everyone else seemed to be following what Google said. And went that way too. So um, went to get some food. So it took us a little bit longer to get home, but it's okay. So I can clean them when I'm done. And then we just have pop these on the inside here. And then I might do one at the top and one at the bottom. Just glue them on. This just gives you a little bit of space to write. And you can write on it put together, but I'd suggest that you um then you write on it before you stick it all together because it doesn't go completely flat so it just might be a little bit tricky oops not that one yeah okay so what we're going to do here is this we're going to find the center of Let's just make sure I'm doing that right. No, I'm going to find the centre here, kind of in the middle of those two panels, like so. And then we're going to pop some glue. So if I was to close this, you wouldn't see it poking out. But if you opened it, you could see that that would be to there. So we just want to glue on this part here, okay. It's the best glue, Helen. It's the, it's my uh, adhesive of choice, to be honest. Um, that Stampin' Up! sells. I prefer this glue over uh, tape runner. So we're just going to follow this back. And put some glue on there. It's nice and strong and in our humidity it doesn't lift. When I first started making cards I used the snail which is like the set is probably not as good as the seal plus but when I started doing it I was told it was a really nice strong adhesive um, which was great. So there we go. 
that's how our card will stand um, but our summers get very very humid and I made some Christmas cards and they sat in my husband's car for a few days and then by the time he gave them to the lady that had purchased them from me uh, they had started to fall apart so that is that so then what we're going to do is because it just kind of flops we're going to make a little belly band so I have a piece of Balamambo and I always find it better to just gently fold our belly band over rather than trying to score it and get it correct because you just want to make sure that it's going to move nicely. Now for that, just so that I don't get glue oozing all over the place, uh, I think for the thumbs up ladies, I'm going to just use some double sided tape here, or some tearing tape, and I have a piece of my hair in that, so we'll get rid of that because whoever gets the card doesn't want my hair attached to it. Any open homes today, Alison? Or are you still waiting on that offer before you do any more? It's really dragging out for you guys. It's not really fair. It must be very frustrating for you. I remember that feeling of frustration and just constantly wondering. Right, so I'm just going to pop this on, make sure the edges are lined up, like so. <laughs> I, I'm assuming you mean cat hair. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's a little bit loose. Um, I'm sure people don't mind. It would be more, oh no, nah, too bad. Too bad, it's a bit loose, but that's all right. I'll just pinch it later. Okay, so I wanted to have, I should have thought about that, I wanted it to be more in the center. So I'm going to pop that on there like so. I have a piece of Malamambo and I'm going to use, and this is why I didn't bring out my I need to work out my little one and I don't think it's going to fit. So I need, now these are the deckled circles. They are available on, uh, not that one. That's too big. These are available as an online exclusive, but they are, they're matte, like these don't fit in a clear case. All my dies usually go in a clear case. I'm going to have to find a piece of um, magnet so that I can put them in here because I really find the tape just, um, they're quite fine dies so they kind of warp a little bit. I don't know why I'm putting that away because I have to get them back out. So I'm just going to pop this through our little buddy stamping cut embossed machine and our little mini one and mm -hmm. use that as our center piece there put that there and then I'm also going to cut out this die here and I want some where's my card gone oh I was so efficient I put it away that's not helpful I want some white and some melon mambo out of white
think I need to replace my plates on here. It doesn't cut out in the middle so well. But that's okay. And then I'm going to use these ones. So this is the Cheer for Daisies die set, it was in last year's catalogue, been carried over to this year. I'm just going to run that through twice, just to make sure. Pop those back so I don't lose them, even the tiny pieces. That one's not going to come out straight away. How are we going? Oh, over time. going to this is going to be glued onto the middle there hopefully yep and then just going to snip off computer popped up with a message hopefully we're still here okay so I'm just gonna pop some glue should have lined up but it hasn't okay well near nearly done ladies thank you for your time and your perseverance I should have checked this out before I stuck glue on it. There we go. And then where did my pink one go? Other one go. I'll have to have a look for it after. So I don't hold you up. So I'm gonna pop this on, but I want to I want to cover that up. There we go. Like so. Before I put that on. This set has a beautiful happy birthday, which I'm going to stamp on here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Obviously, that's not going to stamp onto my block because it needs a clean. It's a bit dry. Oh, 
done. Still haven't found my flour. Put on one of my plates. Somewhere. And then we're just gonna snip, snip, oops, snip, 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 snip. Okay. Imagine that that pink flower is on there. And imagine if I want to put one on here, I'm going to put one there and one there and I'll leave that floating. This is just going to sit underneath here, like so, and then with our imagination caps on, it's just moved, we will have pink flower on there, and that is our card for tonight. I'm sure I'd put that pink flower somewhere safe so that I didn't lose it. There's not a lot of space that I can put it, so that's annoying. But anyway, rubbish out of the way. Clear my stuff. So that's our card. Slide off our belly band. And you guys are troopers for just sticking with me for so long. And then that would be what our card looks like when it's all finished. No, not on here. All right. Is it on my cutting plate? It is. Look, mm -hmm. I did say that, didn't I? And then I didn't go and look. Thank you, Andrea. It is on my cutting plate. Now it's gonna. You'll see what it looks like finished then. Um, it is. It's quite a cool, quite an effective um little card, I thought, but not terribly uh, intricate for those of us that um don't really like doing too fancy a fold um, but it does give it does give the recipient a little bit of interaction as well there we go <coughs> thank you very much for joining me tonight I hope that you have a great week I'll post a picture uh, just in case anyone is interested and would like to uh, make a card and pop it underneath um, and I might, I might do a little sample of that, um, designer series paper if that's something that you might be interested in getting. If there's a couple of cards there, we'll do a little winner wheel and use some of that pink designer series paper. That's rather pretty. All right. Thank you very much, ladies. Um, enjoy your week. And I will see you next Sunday night. Bye for now.